Alberta versus the nation. The province is considering pulling out of the Canada Pension Plan, drawing alarm from both the feds and concerned provinces, with Ontario this week calling for an urgent finance minister's meeting to address the issue. A report the province recently released concluded Alberta would be entitled to more than half the fund, about $334 billion. As you heard there, if the feds don't come up with their own number, Premier Danielle Smith says she'll take them to court. Let's bring back the front bench to talk about that. Christy Clark, John Tory, and Tom Mulcair. Christy, I'll, I'll start with you do you think this uh possible th th that there is any possibility alberta actually ends up at leaving the cpp well i certainly hope not i mean that would be a disaster i, I you know vashi i kind of think of canada as like a polyamorous marriage where oh. you've got you know and in this case you've got the um one spouse saying you never thank me you always denigrate me. You ignore my needs at the expense of all the other partners in this marriage. And so I'm, I'm going to, I can't divorce you, but I'm going to manage my finances separately from you. I'm going to try and have as little to do with you as I possibly can. That's kind of the way I see Alberta's uh, talk about this to the federal <laughs> government. And, you know, and instead of saying, you know, honey, let let's sit down and talk about our marriage. The prime minister is saying, look at, look at Alberta, the rest of Canada, look at Alberta. They're just gonna try and hurt retirees all across the country and really inflaming the problem. I don't think Alberta's gonna leave. I don't think they should leave, but I understand the anger that they're trying to express in a country where they feel really unwanted, unloved, unrespected, and they can't leave. Yeah, I, I think the sentiment is understandable. And certainly, John, in a number of other instances where they're fighting uh, uh, the federal government on you know, issues of jurisdiction over natural resources and the future of the oil and gas industry, it is understandable and also does resonate with Albertans. This one seems a little more nuanced. It doesn't seem to have packed the punch with Albertans than a lot of those other issues that the polyamorous couple are fighting over fight over. Well, it's because it's so technical. I and mean, if you just look at the amounts of money involved and, you know, people are smart enough to figure out if they hear that Ontario says on the same calculations they're entitled to 65 percent and Alberta is entitled to 53, people can do that math and say, well, that adds up to way more than 100 <clears> and <throat> what happens to the rest of the country? <laughs> so I think they, you know, they sort of know and I think they would be worried and rightly so because if that number isn't the 53 percent and it's, say, you know, 33 uh, based on some other calculation, they will then have to wonder whether that start startup foundation for an Alberta plan would be enough to sustain their pensions. And that's going to worry, especially seniors who vote, and they, they will be totally on side with everything Christy said, and I understand that too, the sort of the angst and the anger. But everybody's guilty of this. I mean, it isn't just Mr. Trudeau provoking them. They're provoking him, and it seems to be the way politics is now, where that everybody sort of provokes each other and, and that nobody wants to sit down and actually have a, a chat about this. And th we've seen this movie before, too, in other places where they talked about starting these either supplementary or independent pension plans. And when you look at the cost of doing it and you look at the risks of doing it, uh, it, you know, it is just something that the people in the end will say, you know what, my pension seems to get delivered to my bank account and we'll just uh, leave it that way, whatever grievances we think we might have or are told we should have. I think it's that number that, that John mentioned, Tom, that has really sparked the political back and forth throughout the country, right? It's the idea that the report that was commissioned by the Alberta government concluded they were entitled to more than 50% of the fund. I mean, that's what would devastate the, the rest of the country and why we have all these finance ministers now weighing in and asking for an emergency meeting. It's a very smart idea for those, for those ministers to get together, by the way, because you can't have this thing just hanging out there and the uncertainty in and of itself becomes a problem. Uh, to, to go back to Christie's image of, the, of that couple, uh, there was one person in that relationship that said no from the beginning. And so Quebec has a separate pension plan and now has a pot of about a half a trillion dollars uh, that it manages pretty decently well. And, and it's never been part of the CPP. I mean, I live here in Quebec, and when you've retired, you know, there's, there's a whole formula for getting things right, and you're, you're entitled to certain things that you've paid into federally. It's complicated, but to pull out of the existing plan is not the same thing as saying you're not in it from the beginning. Right. Mm -hmm. And pulling out of it is like trying to unmake an omelet. You can just imagine, you know, look at all the people who fly in and fly out to work in the oil sands. You can just imagine, so how much goes to New Brunswick, and how much is the feds, and, you're trying to do this retroactively. In terms of a bureaucratic nightmare, it's hard to imagine worse. So 
I do believe that Alberta is trying to, you know, put down some markers and say you're going to have to start respecting us, and that. As a Quebecer, I totally get and I understand. They feel often that they've been left out. They've been doing more than their share for the Canadian economy, in their view. And they're saying, you know, we're always getting picked on. But I don't think that this is a solution to any known problem. I think it is a recipe for creating much worse problems.